Baltimore will end the year with the record high per capita homicide rate. This comes after a violent night in North Baltimore. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live on East 43rd Street off York Road where three men were killed. Mike. Max, good afternoon. This happened just after 10 o'clock last night. Two men were pronounced dead inside one of the homes here behind me. A third man was pronounced dead at the hospital, and police originally believed that there was a fourth victim who walked into the hospital with a gunshot wound, but they are now saying that fourth victim was not connected to this. It was a very active scene out here last night, and a short time ago, the commissioner held a press conference where he talked about some of this violence. 347 murders this year, as you mentioned, that compares to three. 309 last year and now five years above 300 murders. He also talked about this case in particular. He believes that the victims knew their killer. We are working on leads and we are, we don't have suspects yet, but we're working on leads. Detectives are pursuing every, every piece of evidence and trying to gather as much evidence as we possibly can. What we know is that this occurred inside of a home. So the perpetrator is likely known to those victims, which means someone knows what happens. Someone knows. So if you've heard something, if you saw something, please call us right away or please call Crime Stoppers right away. And it can be very difficult to get witnesses to come forward. The commissioner also said there were no signs of forced entry. And he also responded to the police union's comments this morning. They put out a statement criticizing him as being out of touch and that they also said that their detectives were handling a caseload that they said would make law enforcement experts gasp. They said they're extremely shorthanded. In response, the commissioner said he is laser focused on leading the city's police department. Reporting live in North Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.